Hi, Carl Winkler at Electrosonics here. I want to talk to you about the importance of setting your audio input gain on your transmitter properly. One of the most commonly misunderstood settings on a wireless mic system is the transmitter audio input gain. Now, less expensive systems typically have only a couple settings, high and low, or maybe they have 0 dB, minus 10 attenuation, minus 20 attenuation, something like that. The best systems give you fine control over the audio input gain, such as 1 dB steps and a wide range of input gains. So the electrosonics units give you this, 1 dB steps, and most of our transmitters give you 44 dB of gain range. Some systems have more than that even. Uh, the SSM gives you uh, an additional 7 dB of attenuation at the bottom end, and that's to use with high output lavalier mics when used in mu musical theater situations. And then our HM and HMA plug-on transmitters actually give you an additional 10 dB of gain at the top to use with low sensitivity dynamic microphones. So the whole reason behind giving you this control is so that you can optimize your signal to noise ratio. What does this mean? Well, signal to noise means your desired signal to the noise in the system. Now, all wireless microphone systems have inherent noise, and that's caused by the electronics themselves, and that's usually exhibited with a hiss type sound, or the radio channel noise, and that might be you hear pops and crackles and things like that, depending. And usually, you would hear that when the microphone system is at the edge of its range, okay? So how do we compensate for that? Well, you want to turn up your audio gain enough on the transmitter so that you get a good signal to noise ratio, desired signal to your noise floor. And the way that you know that you're doing that is actually to bump up against the limiters in the transmitter. So what is limiting? Well, a limiter is a circuit that monitors the peaks in the audio level and makes sure that they don't either distort the signal in the case of a, a digital wireless or overmodulate the radio signal in the case of an FM s system. So on the electrosonics transmitters, you have a couple ways to look for this. And in uh, the units like the LT, you actually have an LCD screen where you can see your input level and uh, adjust it so that you are just coming to the end of the scale and maybe seeing the limiter indicator come on. But all of the units have a minus 20 and a minus 10 LED. Now when you're getting a little bit of signal, you'll see the LEDs light up green. Now once you've bumped the limiter, then you'll see the minus 20 LED blink red, okay? And this is so important that we actually create a, we created a card that we include with every single transmitter that illustrates how the transmitter input gain should be set so that you bump the limiter and see the, let, the red LED light up. Believe it or not, too low of a gain setting on your transmitter can actually affect your operating range with the wireless system. Most systems today have a squelch based not only on pilot tone, but on Synad. And Synad is signal to noise and distortion. So when the signal to noise ratio is too low, the receiver will cut off the audio to prevent dropouts and loud noise events. And therefore, your range suffers. So what we're going to do now is a little walk test where we demonstrate that first we're going to set the gain too low in the transmitter and we're going to make it up later so you'll hear a higher noise floor in the first place and you'll see that the range suffers as a result. Then we're going to set the gain properly on the transmitter and you'll see first it sounds better but it also has much greater range. Okay, so here we are outside, beautiful New Mexico sunny day. I'm going to go ahead and start walking that way and this is with the gain set too low. And what, we sh what you should probably happen is that we're going to lose the signal earlier than you normally would. So I'm going to start walking and talk a little bit. Here we go. By the way, we just saw a uh, roadrunner right up there. It's the neighborhood roadrunner. Lives right around here. Does his hunting right around in this area. Okay, so if we haven't already, pretty soon we're going to lose the radio signal and start hearing more and more radio noise on the channel. All right, so I'm going to go out this way and see how far we can get with this signal here. All right, so 
We've got Russian sage. We've got local plants that uh, grow around here. Okay, still going, still going. Let's see, I'm gonna start heading up the street here. Let's see what happens to our signal. A little bit Maybe. Hi. You're a young one, aren't you? You're pretty small. Trying to catch something in there? Oh, what'd you get? You get a bug? Okay, so we've reset the audio gain to the proper level on the transmitter and the receiver uh, to give good results this time. So I'm gonna turn around and start walking and talking again with this new setting and we'll see how this works. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you can start seeing some clouds forming up there over the mountains. Maybe we'll get some rain today. Just had a very interesting encounter with the roadrunner here. He was doing some hunting right around through here. And I mentioned before, we got the native type of uh, plants here, different kinds of sage and uh, yucca and uh, butterfly bush there. Desert willow. All right, so I'm coming up to the street here. Let's see how we do on range. Yeah, okay. It's sunny out today, but not too hot. All right, so walking up on the street. Yeah, let's see how we're doing. All right, I've gotten about 75 yards away again from the receivers. So as you saw in that walk test, not only is the sound quality best when you've got the audio input gain set properly, but the range is much better with your wireless system as well. And just to recap, how do you want to set your gain on your electrosonics units? You want to look for good modulation, green LEDs for most of the time, and then the minus 20 LED will blink red on the peaks. That's telling you that you're just bumping the limiter in the slightest bit and you've maximized your signal to noise ratio. I'm Carl Winkler at Electrosonics. Thanks for watching. Hi. Coming right at you. Come over here.